So we are going to be talking about tax. And in Ontario, does anyone know what the tax is called in Ontario? HST, harmonized sales tax. Does anyone know what percentage you pay tax? What percentage? Good. The HST in Ontario is 13%. So this goes back to calculating the percent of a number. Let's say I went to the store and I wanted to buy a pair of shoes and they cost $69.99. Well, I'm not going to go to the cash register and the cashier is not going to say to me, you owe me $69.99, right? I need to pay 13% tax on top of that. So I need to pay an additional 13%. I'm going to show you two methods. The first method is the long method because I want you to understand how this works. We're taking 13% and I need to know what is 13% of the price. So we just did this. How do you calculate percentage of a number? Turn 13% into a decimal which is 0.13 of means multiply by 69.99, what do you get? So the answer we get is 9.0987, but this is an, a dollar amount. I need to round to two decimal places, okay? I want to round off the pennies. Look next door. Is this number greater than five? So what am I going to do? Am I going to round up, or is it going to stay the same? So it's approximately equal to $9.10. What does that number represent? the tax, right? This just represents tax because tax is 13%. Well, now I need to know when I go to the cash register, what is she going to ask me for? What is the total price? What was the original what was the price of the shoes? 69.99 and how much additional tax am I paying? You have to add on the tax, right? Plus $9 and 10 cents. So altogether, how much am I going to pay for the Okay, so the total comes to $79 and 9 cents altogether. Okay, that's the first method. I'm going to show you a shortcut. Okay, the second method, I want to know the total with tax all in one one calculation. Okay? So we're going to use the exact same example to see if we get the same answer. The shoes cost $69.99, and I need to pay 13% tax. So I want you to think about this. You're paying $69.99 plus the 13%. Well, before we just multiplied by 0.13, to calculate the total, including the tax, we multiply by 1.13. Because if I multiply this by 1, it will include the, the original price, the $69.99. It will be included in the answer. So what's 69.99 times 1.13? Okay, we get the exact same answer, 79.09, all in one calculation because I put this 1.13 in front of it. So to calculate the total with the tax, all we need to do is multiply the original number made with doodlecast pro